Hey guys, welcome back. We're cutting directly to the chase, straight to the product, no introductions, because this needs no introduction. This is the Broadway Limited Brass Hybrid Union Pacific 4122 steam locomotive, MSRP of $749, but you'll be able to find discounts out there at brick and mortar hobby shops and online retailers. This is equipped with Paragon 3, which means you've got a subwoofer. If you decide to purchase a subwoofer, that subwoofer will supplement sounds from the locomotive wirelessly creating kind of a trackside experience. You can also operate this in DC and regular DCC with 28 functions listed. Let's get the box opened up and see what's inside. Yes. All right, really nice brass hybrid box here. Synchronized full spectrum sounds you can feel. That's kind of Paragon 3's MO slogan. You've got a Paragon 3 operator's manual with over 30 pages of information, including configuration variables, adjustments, sound adjustments, etc. You've even got a note regarding the model. You can see that they've attempted to recreate the unique, unique three-cylinder chuff cadence as it is on the prototypes. If you prefer an exact six chuff per revolution, you can make the following CV changes to get that. So pretty cool. They're trying to strive for the prototype sounds there. Exploded parts diagram, Broadway Limited one year warranty, and a flyer about Choo Choo Shoes, which is Broadway Limited's product for boys and girls for about 50 bucks. You can get shoes that jump and whistle. So they're stepping outside a little bit. You've got the model itself in all its glory. Accessories in the box, simply some traction tires and a tool to install them. And on this side you've got a funnel for fluid, smoke fluid. This does have synchronized puffing smoke. I'm going to pull the locomotive out. You can definitely tell that that's brass just by the weight and feel of it. We'll get everything unwrapped and take a closer look next. This is a very long locomotive in the 4-12-2 configuration. That is four lead wheels, 12 drivers, that's six on each side. And then also two trailing trucks that you can see tucked behind the cab there. So we're just going to go over some detail on this. We'll start on the front. You can see the distinctive smoke box door with all of those parts and pieces located there. Headlight, bell, you've got classification lights that are non-operational but they have a prism effect where they catch light kind of look like they're lit. You've got the smokestack obviously up top, flying number boards on each side of the smokestack, handrails, a crew entry ladder to the smoke box door. You've got the pilot, coupler cut lever, Metal coupler there with the magnetic glad hand. Handrails going along each side of the smoke box door in the front of the boiler. Got the boiler dome and sand domes there. Those drivers, eccentric crank, pistons, all the plumbing along the side of the boiler jacketing. Pop off valves, whistle, dynamo located towards the back of the cab right here and you get the whistle on the other side there you've got some very large roof vents number 9034 on the actual cab trailing trucks that we mentioned earlier it's in the two two wheel configuration separately applied grab irons for crew access to the cab all the plumbing and Rivet detail on the boiler in the firebox area. As we take a peek inside, you can see there is boiler backhead detail, deck plate, little stamped safety tread. You've got the pins there, a male pin connection, female is on the tender. And you've got a draw bar tucked away somewhere. Well, it's actually on the tender, so I'll show that, but it's a very short draw bar. 
and you can even see up at the top there right before you run out of room the tip of my finger you've got some gauge detail with some painted on areas seats obviously firebox door and a lot more plumbing and detail on this side as well beautiful locomotive brass hybrid so it's mostly composed of brass so there's a lot of craftsmanship involved you even got the throttle lever there you can see connecting right there the tip of my finger and a lot more plumbing and detail got the builders plates up towards the front there and we are back in the front of this locomotive amazing amazing locomotive so you've got a behemoth of a locomotive the railroads have to keep size in account so you've got a tiny little tender here coal up top realistic looking coal load with a wooden deck plate and water hatches handrails Union Pacific on the side with nice truck detail Crew access ladder on the back along with lights and plumbing. UP9034, clear and legible, magnetic metal coupler on the back. Magnetic glad hand equipped coupler. And you've got some air hose detail below. And a coupler cut lever as well. And more detail, more of the same detail on this side. And on the front area you can see the coal access point right there and more of the coal detail along with the female connection and the little drawbar which I'll show you real quickly is just this short little drawbar right here. So it has a very nice close connection and a very sturdy connection. Broadway Limited has an extended startup sequence where you can just move the locomotive to get it to start up. Since we've skipped the introduction and conclusion, I will go ahead and start it up with the extended start sequence. So that is F9. So you can hear that there, now we're going to listen to some sounds, starting with the bell. We'll check the headlight first there. Hear the dynamo crank up. Alright, we're going to listen to some sounds, starting with the bell. Whistle. With an alternate whistle on F22. You've got coupler slack, F3. You have to move it to get that and you see the synchronized puffing smoke firing up there. F4 is the air pump. F5 is blow down when stopped and increase chuff intensity when moving. F7 turns the smoke on and off. F8 turns the volume on and off. F9, as we mentioned before, starts up and shuts down the extended sequence of that. F10 is shovel. You've got grade crossing whistle, passenger announcements, freight announcements, all sorts of good things, and the higher functions. Here is one of them. Permission to depart. Be advised, switches on the north end might be against you, so go out looking out for switches. That's a Roger. Permission to depart. Be advised, switches on the north end might be against you, so go out looking out for switches. 
violation of the parking. Stand by, switches on the north end might be against you, so go out looking out for switches. That's a rod, go. So yeah, I hit F15 twice for that. There's a lot of different functions. I'm not going to be able to cover them all. One thing that Broadway Limited does that nobody else does is a macro. You can record a sequence and then play it back. The locomotive will go through a whistle and bell sequence that you record. So very cool features there. We're going to go ahead and move this now and look at slow speed control. So we'll do that as we zoom out. That was just one speed step right there out of 126 on my MRC Prodigy Wireless. There's two. Three. Four. And five. We're going to go in reverse now. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the drivers as we get a little closer. I'll we'll start at 1 so you can see the drivers 1 for a little while. Got a slight tender derail here. Alright, get that all fixed up. One speed step in reverse, a little closer up so you can see the drivers. Two. Three. Four. And five. Really smoking up a storm there. A little bit of motor noise behind the sound. But there is the slow motion forward and reverse. Pretty smooth in my book. This is the part that if you have a subwoofer on your computer or your TV, you could probably hear a little better. I've turned on Rolling Thunder and we're near the receiver you can see in your upper left hand corner we're going to move this so you can hear out supplement the chuffs it also supplements other noises just the background noises of the locomotive. You may notice that the cab light has gone on. When it's in a stopping mode, it's stopped, it will actually go and turn on, which is pretty cool. It shows that the crew can access different areas inside. Another thing we didn't cover are these large vents. They are fixed, but I uh, wanted to show you those vents in a little more detail up top. Now Paragon 3 Rolling Thunder also supplements the whistle so you may have been able to pick up on that there's the other whistle so yeah it absolutely supplements a lot of cool sounds Gives it a trackside experience. Here's a view of the front light. You can see when I reverse, you hear the reverser. But that's a uh, very faint yellow light. Looks uh, very much like a bulb, but it is an LED, so good job on that. You can only really see it brightly head on, but I'm sure there's a prototypical aspect to that. Real quick look at the rear light. And the emergency stoplight. 
illuminates when it's stopped. Otherwise that goes off and the rear light brightens up under code 17 lighting. So pretty cool for the rear. You can still hear Paragon 3 supplementing there in this clip as well and we'll just continue this way so you can see some great detail. Cab light turns off as you move. We're going to move the locomotive and see pulling power. Looks like it's teetering at about 6.8 to 7. It's 105 cars and passenger, I'm sorry, in freight cars. And passenger, you could pull whatever you want. Broadway Limited, once again, with great pulling power. Well, I think that's going to do it for this review of the Broadway Limited 412-2 steam locomotive, a UP-4. Very cool locomotive, and I have to say the coupler height was on par front and back. I know we didn't show it on the screen, but it was good to go. NMRA standards on wheel flanges were good and a great locomotive overall. Nothing to say bad about it at all. A little bit of motor noise, that's about it. Very smooth operation though. I'm gonna leave you with an era-specific run-by of this locomotive with some actual era-specific rolling stock. And if you hear some strange sounds, it's because Broadway Limited had released some cattle cars and some stock cars with actual sounds, and I put that in the consist. Now you're gonna have to look past the concrete ties, but I think you can do me that favor for not seeing my ugly mug on today's review. And we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.